Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome. Another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. The sun is shining. It was really kind of dreary around here earlier today, and I was kind of, you know how you get that, like, just that, the winter blues kind of a feeling with all the gray and drear, but man, it's like super sunny, shiny now, so hopefully the sun is shining where you guys are as well. Um, and if not, I was thinking, you know, the other thing that brightens everyone's spirits is to get in your craft room or get out your craft supplies and start playing with lots of new things, right? I think that always helps kind of beat those winter blues away, right? So yeah, let's see, make sure you say hello. If you're, you know, I'm gonna just wait maybe another minute or two as people start to kind of hop on. So say hello while we're kind of waiting for people to hop on and yeah, let's see. So what, what's been going on? We, um, basketball is in full swing right now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We had a game like far away. It was over like an hour and a half drive last night and it was snowing. My dad, fortunately, hi Marianne, hello, welcome. Hi Wendy, there you guys are. It's funny, I'm like kind of chatting. I'm like, oh, there's nobody on. Yeah, everybody's enjoying the sunshine hopefully, right? So hello ladies, I'm glad you can join me. So yeah, I was talking about last night. Fortunately, that's not snowing today, but we had to drive like an hour and a half away for a basketball game last night. So my dad always drives for these away games, which is really fun. It's kind of a good um, bonding time for us. And then my son Cade, usually, well, pretty much always, he he comes home with us instead of riding the bus home with everybody because um, the JV girls play after the JV boys, so he would have to wait a really long time before he could get on that bus and come back. So yeah, he rides back home with us and it's always just kind of a fun um, night when we have these away games, other than like all that crazy snow. So let's see, oh, you had trouble finding. I wonder why. That's kind of strange, I who knows, right? I don't know, Facebook is crazy sometimes. So I'm glad you found me. Maybe other people are kind of having some trouble too. I'm sure I'm on the Facebook group, right guys? I'm, I know I, I typed that in, so I think I'm good. So anyway, yeah, um, just been busy with lots of basketball and dance and oh, I don't know, I'm ready for the weekend, I think. So lots of things planned, like actually a lot of work. This is kind of one of those weekends. Hi, Philomena, how are you? Where we don't have a lot going on. This is the first weekend in a while, so I'm taking advantage of it. I feel like I've kind of been like shoving lots of stuff to the side to get what I have to get done done. So this is the weekend I'm like getting caught up. <laughs> That's the story of my life though. I think I spend my whole life trying to get caught up. <laughs> so anyway, let's see, why don't we, let's go ahead and do our first drawing. Um, good, okay, Marianne, I'm glad. You're exactly where I usually find you. Okay, well, that's good, 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 good. So it's just Wendy who's flaking out on us this morning. <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. <laughs> All right, oh, actually, do you guys wanna know? And I have to tell you, it's funny, um, Leo, whenever I kind of run around and get ready, he thinks like I'm going somewhere, or maybe we, you know, every once in a while he gets to come too, so he's kind of like, wait a minute, why are you just standing in front of that, um, like, window talking basically so he's a little confused like hey I thought we were going somewhere and now you're just standing around so sorry Leo that's how it goes some days okay so this these are the frosted flower embellishments oh my gosh these are so cute I you know and honestly I feel like I've been giving these away with different things for so obviously today online but I I'm trying to remember what else I've given them away for, but I'm like, I don't think I've even used these yet. I keep looking at them and how cute they are. Um, but there's kind of a kind of a purpley color, a pink color, and then a clear color. And I don't have the official names, but that's what we're going with. So anyway, that is what we are giving away. And thank you, Philomena, for the share. I appreciate that. I really do all of the shares that you guys do for me, um, especially, like I said, this time of year, that whole, you know, when it can kind of be dark and dreary and, you know, I think we have a lot of fun here, so you sharing that with others can help maybe brighten other people's day as well. So thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna draw for so many names in here. 
Okay, let's see, I've got one ticket in my hand, and oh my gosh, Linda Danis, who is a new email subscriber, Miss Linda, and I think I did when you subscribed, I'm pretty sure I have your email or your um, address. If I don't, um, Linda, and you're watching, make sure you send me that email address. I will let you know. I can send you a message probably on Facebook or something. So yay, congratulations, very good. Miss Linda Danis wins the Frosted Flower Embellishments. So, all right, let me put those aside so I don't um, get mixed up with anything, right? Okay, so do you guys want to see <clears throat> our giveaway for next week? These are, the, they're so teeny tiny. I'm going to show you the little package. These are the Needlepoint Nook mini buttons. So, I don't know, they're shaking around in the bottom. They're, they are tiny. And that's very sweet of you, Wendy, to congratulate Linda. Um, okay, so here we go. They come, I don't think I'm even going to be able to pick these things. Well, I don't know. Are you going to be able to see? I've got a button in my hand. I'm going to try to hold on to it and not sling it. Ooh, and the glare, okay, because of the sun, right? Teeny tiny. It's kind of, I would say, crumb cake, petal pink, and then kind of a white color. So I'll show you the petal pink. If you can tell, they've got two little, uh, you know, like you could thread twine. Or something through them if you wanted anyway you get a full pack of these they're just so dainty cute tiny love them very very sweet so that is what we're gonna give away those needlepoint nook mini buttons on Facebook live next Friday and it's funny I was thinking like and I'm probably gonna jinx myself here but looking at the calendar I feel like it's gonna be a while before we can't do a Facebook Live. Like, like life is kind of flowing regularly and I'm excited about that. So I love doing these Facebook Lives and it always bums me out when there's a Friday that I have a commitment that I'm not able to. So yeah, I was just thinking, yeah, that's awesome that we're gonna be able to keep doing these for a good long while. Hi Karen, how are you? Glad you can join us. I feel like I already need to, I'm, I'm just gonna maybe stand over on this because <laughs> it feels, yeah, there's more of a glare over here. Oh, well, oh, and I should have mentioned too, for the first drawing that we just did, Monday was the day in my random drawing, if you can see my little thingy, um, that I did. So entries into that drawing, well, and entries into the drawing for next week, right? You get, you guys know the drill, right? One entry for commenting on Facebook Live, three entries if you um, share the Facebook Live video, then you get another three entries if you subscribe to my email list, like Linda just did and won the drawing, right? And then you also get another three entries for the one random day. So last week, like I said, it was Monday that I picked. Um, so anybody that commented or shared anything that I posted on Monday this past week got three more entries into that drawing. So love your comments and shares. Thank you, everybody's saying hi. Hi, Lori Healy, how are you? Yay, I'm so glad everybody's on. Hopefully it's a good Friday for everybody as well. And Looking forward to a good weekend too, right? Okay, so um, what else, what else? Let me see what's next. Oh, okay, so quick congratulations to one of our Inkspired Stampers. So you guys all know, right, if you buy the starter kit through me or anybody in my downline, you become an Inkspired Stamper. I would love to have anyone that's interested join our group. You guys maybe hopefully already know, right? If you are not already a demonstrator, if you haven't already bought the starter kit, I'd love to have you be a part of our group. We just have a ton of fun together. We did our group gathering earlier this week and I've now figured out how to do Facebook live videos from our group gathering too. So even if you're further away, you can still be a part of things. Plus we have a separate Facebook group um, that we do lots of other um, sharing and I keep it updated on what's going on with Stampin' Up um, from a demonstrator standpoint too. So just lots of good resources for you. But the best part is how much fun we have, right? So. And to become an Inkspired Stamper, you guys know the, the deal right now, right? With the Celebration Starter Kit, the awesome Starter Kit deal. Basically, if you have fallen in love with products from the New Occasions catalog, or maybe you still have a huge wish, wish list from the annual catalog, think about getting that starter kit. There's really, uh, it's one of those like super like no pressure kind of things. Basically, in the beginning, you're gonna pick $175 in product and you pay only $99 plus tax. Plus, you get a paper pumpkin kit too. And I've been thinking, I need to show you guys more of those awesome paper pumpkin kits. Um, what is Karen saying? 
Yes, rather intimidating, yeah. Okay, what's intimidating, Karen? Hopefully there's nothing intimidating. Oh, May, you're talking about Facebook Live. Yeah, so Karen, this is kind of funny, Karen's kind of chatty at our meetings, and I think she was intimidated by the Facebook Live, so she didn't chat quite as much, so that was the joke, was like, Karen, I finally figured out how to make you be maybe not quite so chatty just put that facebook live on and then she didn't want to say quite as much so <laughs> it was cute she'll probably get over that really quickly though so um yeah back to starter kit so pick 175 dollars in product pay only 99 dollars plus sales tax plus get that free paper pumpkin kit and if you want that um the craft and carry tote basically it's 129 dollars to get the craft and carry tote and 175 dollars in product so it's an awesome deal it's always an awesome deal but during celebration it's even a more awesome deal oh that's funny <laughs> cute cute um so what was my point oh yeah that's why so get the starter kit because then when you, okay, so that was the other thing though, you guys need to know, because people always want to kind of know what's my obligation after I buy the starter kit. Basically, there's no obligation. You know, most people have fallen in love with the product and they want to get that discount. So you get 20% off of everything that you purchase after you get the starter kit. So the, the only real obligation is to put $300 in orders in each quarter in order to keep your demonstrator status up. So that's the only obligation. And if you don't put $300 in orders in, then your demonstrator ID just drops from the system and you can't kind of get in and access things and order and get that discount any longer. But that's it. There's no, like, I'm not going to be pressuring you. Stampin' Up! doesn't pressure you. We're a really, like, low pressure sales company. It's more about, you know, people that want to be a part of it and have fun and enjoy that discount. So let me know if you have any questions on the starter kit, because then once you get going, there are all these awesome benefits, uh, you know, once you get that starter kit. All right, Leo's, what's he doing? Oh my goodness. I have all these tubs of cards, like I'm still trying to get things put away from Christmas, if you can believe that. And he's like literally walking through the tubs of cards. I'm like, what are you doing? You are a silly dog, Leo. Um, so why I keep losing my train of thought. Oh, but okay, so my whole point in kind of talking about the starter kit was because I have to congratulate Miss Sandy Maletsky, who is new. She just bought the starter kit during last celebration, like end of March, I think. She has already in 10 months promoted to silver status. So silver status means that she has gotten $3,600 in orders in the last 10 months, actually. And then she just got her first recruit. She just had um, a friend of hers buy the starter kit, shared that opportunity with her, and now she can get the 20% discount off of everything that her friend Jen buys. And we, I think we welcomed Jen last week. So yeah, thank you, Wendy. It's awesome. Like she's just kind of knocking it out of the park. So the other cool thing is that she, um, so she gets an awesome silver necklace from Stampin' Up. She gets 5,000 flex points for promoting. And then I also like to reward anybody in my group. So I'm gonna give her a $75 shopping spree. She um, has a charm necklace that she's gonna get a couple more charms to go in. Um, I'm trying to think, I've got my little list here. Yeah, so it's awesome, right? It's just like the, the She's just rocking it out. So we're really, really excited for Miss Sandy. And anyone, these are um, opportunities that are available to anyone, um, anybody that buys the starter kit. And then I like to do some additional fun things for people in our Inspired Stampers group. So yay, congratulations. Um, all right, let's see what is next. Oh, so the other thing I have to tell you guys about is once you buy that starter kit, you actually can start getting uh, are kind of taking advantage of the demonstrator rewards during celebration like right away so buy the starter kit today and like tonight tomorrow whenever if you have a friend that also wants to buy the starter kit have them buy it through you you actually get a $25 product credit just for sharing the starter kit opportunity with one person then it gets even better if you find two people that want to get the starter kit you as their demonstrator as their upline get another hundred dollar product credit so two uh, recruits two people that you share that starter kit opportunity with earns you $125 in free product. So it's like, this is just the most amazing time to be a part of Stampin' Up! So spread the word, let me know if you would like to get the starter kit, and then if you have friends that wanna get it, that'll help get you even more free product 
uh, right away. So let me know if anybody has any questions on that because I'm just kind of uh, taking that all in too. We were talking about that earlier this week at our group gathering also. So yeah, it's like those are amazing rewards uh, for being a demonstrator. So, and then there are also rewards for sales too. So um, I can share those with anybody that's interested as well. So, um, okay, I think we are ready to do our next drawing. So this was for the home, oh, oh my gosh, is that? I'm gonna have to move the table already, aren't I? The Home to Roost stamp set. This awesome stamp set, the celebration stamp set. So we are gonna do the drawing for this. I need to put the names in. Not quite as many names in here now as there were last time, but I'm gonna shake these around and let's see our winner. Let me make sure I have just one is Mary Ellen, and I'm Mary Ellen, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but Mosbo, maybe? You cannot even see this, but Mary Ellen, congratulations. You are the winner of the Home to Roost stamp set. This is awful, okay, here we go. We are going for a ride already. That, I cannot do that any longer. There, that might be all we needed to do. So, yes, Mary Ellen, maybe not. Yes, now you can see, right? The Home to, oh, it's still, that's, that's, there we go. I have to tilt it out that way, right? Home to Roost stamp set is yours. I will be sending this out to you. Oh, that's awesome. Good for you. Okay, so you guys want to know our next giveaway prize. Let me scoot this out of the way. I have too many things in my way. So next week, if you use the host code, it is a really cute stamp set, isn't it, Marianne? Have you played with it yet? I still have not had a chance to play with mine. So if anybody has played with that Home Drew stamp set, I would love it if you shared a picture of a project that you've made um, on our Facebook group, on, on our Facebook group right here. That would be so fun to see. So yes, and you guys are all so sweet. All your congratulations. <laughs> what is she saying? Ha ha, Karen must have had trouble finding your live. Maybe, you never know. Maybe it's just the inspired stampers. Maybe you were over on the other group instead. Maybe that was the problem. So, okay, this week, this is called the Classic Garage. This is six by six designer series paper for all of your kind of manly, manly, manly projects, right? We always have to have a little something in there because we never have enough masculine cards, do we, right? So I'm not gonna open that pack of paper, but I'm gonna show you in, um, oh, Karen's saying it was delayed on her Facebook. I know, Facebook is crazy, but as long as it works eventually, right? Okay, so this is the classic garage suite and everybody always laughs at me, it's backwards. Yes, it is. So. You can see projects that are made. You probably all have a catalog. If somebody doesn't have a catalog, though, let me know. I would love to send one out to you. <laughs> You're funny, Karen. Poo, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know. If anybody needs a catalog, like I said, I would love to get one sent out to you, so just leave me a comment here. But can you, I'm gonna try to like zoom the catalog in. Those are all the different patterns um, in the designer series paper. So lots of really good, like I said, kind of car, um, garage themed. Um, let's see, it says bold colors and images celebrate gearheads and car enthusiasts. Perfect for Father's Day or birthday cards. You get 48 sheets for each of the 12 different double-sided designs. So lots of paper in there. So that is what we are going to give away next week the classic garage designer series paper. Make sure you use the host code. I'll give you that in just a little bit. And it's always at gatheringinspiration.com. So, you know, if you don't want to go back and watch Facebook Live, just go to gatheringinspiration.com and you can always get the host code. And then your name, if you spend at least $30, is going to go in the drawing to win. Oh, <laughs> Pooh was supposed to be, ooh, okay, <laughs> Karen, you are so funny. Ooh, nice paper. Okay. I gotcha. You should um, maybe do a quick double check before you hit enter then. <laughs> then those things don't happen, silly. <laughs> All right. Um, what else? What else? Okay. Hey, you know what I forgot um, with the Occasions Catalog paper share? You know how I've been telling everybody you can get a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in the catalog? I totally forgot to mention that you're also, as like a free um, thank you for ordering the paper share, you're going to get a quarter of a pack. And then this is my like random package. But this is the celebration. It's called Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper. So I'm also going to give you a quarter of a pack of the celebration paper too with your paper share. So um, 
those RSVPs, I gotta check my notes here, are due on Tuesday, January 29th. So you still have a little over a week if you're interested in the paper share. <laughs> Marianne, we all have that problem, Karen. I know, and half the time when I do it, then I have to go back and like edit my comment and like fix it. So hopefully nobody ever sees it, but yeah, I know my fingers go way too fast too. So, okay, yeah, so if you're interested in the paper share, it's $24 for a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in the Occasions catalog. And then, have you guys all seen? Maybe I'll pull it out, let's see. Do I have all of the patterns? I've got like kind of partial packs here. So let's see what we have. I've got one, two, is that one the same? Nope, three, four, sorry, I should have this ready. I, I wasn't, I was thinking I would just kind of flash it up, but now I want you guys to see it. Okay, oh, oh, Philomena, awesome, and hi, Sandra, how are you? I'm like, I look up and like, things have happened. Hopefully I haven't missed, I can only see a couple. Okay, perfect, I'd love for you to get that paper share, Philomena, let me know if you have any questions. But like I said, you're also gonna get a quarter of a pack. So this is one side, hopefully you guys can see of the butterfly, botanical butterfly, I think it's called, front and back of one sheet. And then this is really pretty, and it's kind of an ombre, so you see it's like darker to lighter, that's not like the camera being funny, it really is like that. So who knows what part of that sheet you're gonna get, but I'm gonna cut all these in half. So you're basically gonna get a six, like a six by 12 piece of each of these. And then some more cute little butterflies, and actually the little butterfly punch, the double kind of combo punch, punches out those butterflies. And then here's some more you can color. Ha, <laughs> Sandra, you forgot it was Friday. How is that possible? I think I live for Fridays. Oh, and then this one also, the black and white, and those butterflies are the same and can be cut out with that, punched out with that punch. And then some more, this is purple, kind of a, well, Highland Heather. It almost looks white in that light, I think. Um, well, I'm glad you remembered it was Friday, Sandra. And then here's some more. This is just, look at all the beautiful color and imagery. And then some fun. So if you guys haven't figured this out yet, it's black and white on one side and then kind of colorful floral on the other side. So here's the last one. More butterflies and then the black and white gingham, which I love that too. So I was thinking the big butterfly punch, I don't know if it does punch any. It might be that butterfly there also. I don't have it right here in front of me, but I'm thinking, <laughs> Sandra retired, yeah, what day of the week is it? I wish that I had that problem, Miss Sandra. <laughs> That's awesome though, good for you. Um, okay, so yeah, Occasions Catalog Paper Share, you're gonna get a quarter of a pack of that paper that I just showed you as well, the celebration paper, okay? Um, Let's see what's next. Oh, a couple of quick reminders. Hold on, I gotta get a quick sip of, sip of water too. Um, let's see, quick reminders. Scrapbook class is always at the end of the month, the last Tuesday of the month. So that's coming up on Tuesday, January 29th. But I need RSVPs this Sunday, by this Sunday, the 20th. So if anybody's interested, if you're local here and wanna come to the scrapbook class, make sure you let me know by this Sunday because I need to make sure um, I ha it's basically the way we sell that 12 by 12 cardstock. I don't ever have a lot of extra of that, especially if I use the colors. Um, yeah, so I have to order and make sure I have it because otherwise you would show up at class and you wouldn't have anything to put your projects on. So that wouldn't be good, right? So let me know if anybody's interested in scrapbook class. And then, oh, okay, I have to show you one more quick time the class to go. No, you know what? I'm gonna do that when I move. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a sec. Forget it, edit, like, back up, forget I mentioned that, I'm gonna mention that in a sec, uh, but the simple, beautiful card class. So that class is always the second Wednesday of every month. So this next month in February, it's on February 13th from six to 8.30, and then two days later, always that following Friday on February 15th from one until three. And you guys know that I've started doing the card class to go, or if you wanna join the club too. Um, so card class to go, there's a separate host code use that host code. I post that on my blog. It's um, been emailed out regularly. Um, but if you use that host code, and you, I think it's a minimum $40 order, then I'm gonna send you all four of the projects that we make 
at the Simple Beautiful card class. So that email will be coming out if it's not already. It'll be out very shortly. Um, and I can always give you the host code too if you're interested. You can order right now, use that host code, and then when we do the class in February, I'll send you those cards for free. So, and if you decide, oh my gosh, I love doing this every single month, you can join the card club to go, and then you're gonna get free host benefits one month, at least $30 in free product, and I love to make cute little treats for all my club members, so then you'd get those as well. So, um, yeah, let me know if anybody has any questions on any of that stuff, right? So, I think we are ready to move the camera down. So, yeah, okay. I'm like, yeah, I think I've gone through everything. I keep looking around. So turn your heads away for a quick sec. We are going to flip the camera down and do some stamping. Okay. Bear with me. There's my light. Oh, yeah, I'm not usually over this far. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at that glare. The sun is really, I don't know, it's almost like it's wanting to, like, go away. All right. I can't deal with that though. You know me in this glare. So here we go, we're gonna move. You know what I think, I, Leo's like, what are you doing? Why are you rearranging the whole house? Okay, one sec, ladies. There, here we go. Well, there's still a little something going on, isn't there? Okay, one more sec. And then you know what's gonna happen, then the, um, I can't get away from it. Then um, the sun's gonna go down or cloud up, right? And then there won't be <laughs> there won't be any good light because I moved away from the light. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, so this is the host code, the CJFGUVAT. Make sure you use that when you spend at least thirty dollars by next Wednesday. You are gonna get the projects that we're gonna demonstrate in just a couple minutes, and you get your name in the drawing to win. Leo, where did we put that paper? Where did we put it? It's hiding. Here we go. Then you get your name in the drawing to win that classic garage designer series paper. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, so here, this is what I was wanting to tell you. So that meant to be class to go. Where did I put my notes? I thought I brought them over here. Well, I guess we can't do a quick review of these because I don't remember the prices of anything. But just know, so this, the meant to be class to go, RSVPs that are due for this by next Wednesday, January 23rd. We These are the four projects. So this cute little treat box that has the belly band that slides off. And then the cute little box that opens. I've been saying Giardelli chocolates fit in there. I actually found some really cute little hearts. You can fit like three or four little heart chocolates in there. Um, so that one kind of slides on and off with the cute belly band. And you could honestly... Um, I did this in the bashful blue because I wanted to use that bashful blue ribbon, but you could put um, lovely lipstick works great with this one or even the flirty flamingo if you want more of a pink rather than the blues. Okay, so you'd make two of that project. You'd make two of this cute little gift enclosure, you make me happy with the um, little envelope that I've stamped and then the um, with the little flap on the back that we've decorated. And then two of the just for you card. Um, love all the detail on these, right? And then two of the Happy Valentine's Day card. And you can always change out the sentiments too. So it's based around the Meant to Be stamp set and the Be Mine stitched framelits. And then also included is the Happiness Blooms enamel dots. So if you are interested, make sure you sign up for that class because RSVPs are due by next Wednesday, the 23rd, okay? And I'll include the link. Um, it's also on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and I've been emailing that as well. So hopefully if you would like to sign up, you can find the ways to do that. And if not, just let me know. I'm happy to get that information sent out to you again. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready to do some stamping? I think I am. Okay. I am going to do this card first. So I have to show you guys because I love, I've been doing a lot of this where, so this is the card that I'm going to show you guys today. And I based it off of a swap that I received like last year in the occasions catalog. So, cause I sometimes struggle with layouts. You know, you can find different layouts online, kind of templates. 
Um, oh, thank you, Marianne. You love this bundle and you really love, thank you, you are so sweet. I really appreciate that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So anyway, this card, I thought, I loved the layout of it. I remember when I first got it last, last year, basically. So I've been kind of going back to cards that I have in my stash and finding layouts that I enjoy and then kind of updating them with new product, new look. So that's what we're doing. So here's this card, like I said, you can't get many of the products. You can still get the ribbon, but the stamp and the paper are all gone, I too. Um, yes, <laughs> Karen, aren't you sweet? Yes, me too, Marianne, she says. It can be used for so many things. Yes, yes, it can. Um, love that designer series paper. Now I'm trying to remember the names of things. I think this is, is it the Happiness Blooms? Let's see, yes, the Happiness Blooms designer series paper. We used this last week also. This, I don't know, I have so many favorites of things, but I love the that bright, bold, patterned paper. Um, you guys remember, I think, Karen, you were saying that it looks like 60s and 70s, and I kind of agree with that. So, okay, let's get our, sorry, that might have like, hmm, that's a number that keeps calling me too, and I know it's like a marketing thing. Oh, one of these days, I'm gonna, <laughs> I might give them a piece of my mind. I really hate those calls on my cell phone. Okay, so this is pineapple punch cardstock that measures the eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches for our nice crisp fold on our card, right? Okay, so we're gonna scoot that there. I'm gonna move that guy up here so I know what I'm doing. Then these are just a couple of scrap pieces that we're gonna use for our punching and stamping. So I've got pineapple punch, whisper white, and calypso coral kind of scrap pieces. Then the other layers, I've got a piece of whisper white cardstock that measures three and a half by four and three quarters. And then this paper, and it's actually just the opposite. So we used one side and then the other side of that Happiness Blooms um, designer series paper. And these square or kind of rectangle pieces both measure two inches by three inches, okay? And then this is one of the new Celebration stamp sets. Super cute set, and I've heard so many people say that they love that sentiment, and I thought, you know what, you're right, I wanna use that on a card. So that was what I was doing last night, was kind of prepping and using part of my story. So this is a Celebration stamp set that you can get for free with a $50 order. Thank you, Karen, I like, I'm glad you like that design. So we've got this stamp set that says, let's get together and giggle. So, you know, and then I was thinking too, like how many times do you really giggle with your friends? Um, you know, that like when you're laughing so hard, the tears are rolling down your face. Like I need to do that again. I have to like, yeah, make a, make a friend date to get together and have some fun and giggle with everybody. And what a cute, um, you know, card to send to somebody to say, let's get together, right? Um, this other sentiment is awesome too. It says, the world needs more people like you, right? And then I've got, um, I'm so glad you are part of my story. That one's awesome, huh? Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. Oh, I love that one. We're gonna have to use that on a card. Oh my gosh, I can think of some times when that would be an awesome sentiment to send to somebody. And then you are my chosen family. So very true sometimes, right? And then know that today a friend is thinking of you. Oh, that one is very good too. Oh, I, you know, honestly, I had not really looked that closely at these stamp sets, but I'm like almost tearing up because I can think of a few people that I could send all of these cards to right now. So, all right, I'm going to be working with this stamp set again very soon. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so we use that stamp. Um, like I said, the let's get together and giggle. So let's go ahead and do that, right? So I've got my Calypso Coral ink. And then with my scrap of my Whisper White, we are just gonna do the tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press straight down and lift straight up. Let's get together and giggle with those cute little sprinkle, little polka dot sprinkles on there too. Okay, now we are using punches. Gotta love our punches, right? Okay, so my one and three quarter inch circle punch. And I'm just gonna line that up. You can see I still haven't upgraded to the new design how many years have we had the new design but these still work just fine so i'm like why bother one day maybe i will um then with our two inch cir circle punch uh <laughs> yes you're right philomena she says they're all uplifting and people could use to cheer someone absolutely 
that's what this is all about, right, ladies? That's, I gotta put that on there so it kind of creases that down. Okay, and then the last one, we need our um, Starburst Punch. And this is just a strip of Pineapple Punch cardstock. So I'm just gonna pop that one out, okay? So, super simple. Like I said, you gotta love the punches sometimes, right? Because you could make, you could make a bunch of these, you know, send them out to a bunch of girlfriends and make a plan to get together. Okay, so we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of our Whisper White Circle and we're gonna pop that right on there and then we're gonna add some more adhesive on top of that one. And then there is our layering for that little guy. I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. We're gonna put those on right now so that is all ready to go, okay? Then with our Whisper White piece, we are gonna flip them over so I Make sure I get adhesive on the correct side of both of these, okay? So with our little squares, we're actually gonna do this one first. So we just kinda wanna line that up in that top left corner. And then I'm gonna flip it. I think it was easier for me to kinda keep trying to measure them or line them up in the top rather than the bottom. Oh, Sean, hello! Oh, you can't, oh, you, <laughs> you can't wait for bingo. Oh yeah, me too. I know next week. Yeah. I've got to, I got to get prepped for that too. I'm looking forward to having you and your mom join us again. Thank you. Okay. So we're just putting adhesive on the back of all of that. We've got our card base right here. So we're going to flip this over actually there. Okay. All right. Oh, we've got more. Oh, <laughs> yes, better late than never. Absolutely. And you know what? If you missed any of the earlier parts, you can always go back and watch those later. So, okay. So now we are going to, and I kind of cheated. So this is not Calypso Coral Ribbon. This is Grapefruit Grove Ribbon. But can you see how those tones are very similar? And I think this, this ribbon works great. I really wanted a little bit... Um, kind of thicker, wider, and the Calypso Coral Ribbon, the only ribbon that we had was really kind of thin. So I cheated and used this Grapefruit Grove instead. But like I said, I think you can do that sometimes and it's not really a problem. So we're gonna just kind of snip that right about there like that. And I just kind of added some adhesive and I did have to kind of play around with this a little bit. It might be a little bit longer than I wanted, but we're gonna start with that. And then I have some of our silver mini sequin trim, which is another one of those fun little blingy things. I love to just kind of add that little tail on the end of, you know, kind of behind a sentiment. I think that works really well. It just adds a little bit of bling and fun. So you can see I'm just kind of putting a little bit of adhesive and I'm not pressing down super hard so that if I want to move something, I can do that. But, oops, that's upside down, so that's why that looked kind of weird, right? Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Okay. Last night when I was putting this together, I remember futzing a little bit more, but it all depends on my mood, too, right? Okay. So there's that. And then I just added a couple. I was like, oh, it needed a little something more. So with my Take Your Pick tool, I'm just going to scoop up a couple of... Sometimes I don't do a very good job of this. Get those rhinestones. Let's see. Now it's kind of, ooh. Let's see, I'm not doing a very good job demonstrating this either, am I? I guess that's how it goes sometimes, right? Okay, so then one more. There. Look at that. Now I'm the expert. I just had to do two of them. There. Okay, so put a couple little rhinestones there. And that is it, right? So super simple. But I, like I said, I love that layout. And actually this other card, I believe she might have even popped that layer up on dimensionals. You could do that. I actually did use the thick Whisper White cardstock on here. So I think that is a little more substantial. We were actually talking about that the other night at our um, group gathering, our meeting, talking about when do you use the thick Whisper White cardstock? And I always use it if I'm gonna do like a white card base, um, but then this would be a great example of a time if you're gonna pop that white layer up on dimensionals. Um, I think having it be a little bit thicker and more substantial 
helps hold it up because otherwise it gets a little kind of rumply, you know, top to bottom, side to side when you put it on dimensionals. So that'd be another time, Wendy, I think you were asking about that to use that thick whisper white cardstock. So thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed. Just simple, but wouldn't that be fun? I'm thinking of some people I could be sending that card to right about now. So let's get together and giggle. Oh, very cute. Okay, so let me scoot these guys out of the way. Okay, and actually I am gonna grab, let's get these things over here maybe. Um, I am gonna have to use my little chamois. Oh, and I've got, <laughs> so it's all hard around the edges, but there's this one little spot that's still kind of damp. So I'm just gonna use that right there. I should have probably wet this before I brought it over, but it still works. Sorry, if that was wiggling. I feel like it was really wiggling. Um, yes, <laughs> think of the scraps you could use up with that design. You're right, yes. It's always nice, that's a good feeling, isn't it? To not be wasteful and use all of your extra pieces. I agree, Karen. I keep every little thing that I run through the big shot and then I have piles of little bitty things everywhere. <laughs> and then eventually I just have to get rid of them. Hmm. Okay, so let me show you. Oh, actually, I have to show you this first. So in kind of keeping, if you have been paying attention to our Facebook Live group this week, we have been um, featuring the Amazing Life stamp set as our product of the week. So more of that life's too short to say no to cake, right? Um, I, I just love that sentiment. So we had my dad's birthday party last weekend and somehow I was the one that was made to take the rest of his birthday cake home. There were other, um, I think he likes, it was banana cream pie. So he took the extra of that one home, but they're all like, oh, Amy, we know you like cake. You take that cake home. So we've literally been eating that cake, cake all week long. So I rarely find that life is too short uh, <laughs> to not say no to cake, right? <laughs> so I loved this sentiment. Hi, Sally, how are you? I'm glad you can be here with us. Um, but this card, I just wanted to let you guys know, I actually did um, a YouTube video on this. So you can kind of see um, exactly how I put it together with the dimensions and where I got everything from. Um, so that's on the YouTube channel, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel. So check that out and you can learn just how to make this card. Um, and this is another one of those examples um, where I, I had a layout of a card from a couple of years ago that I was like, oh, I loved that layout. So it's great um, to be able to pull those ideas from you know prior cards and update them with new stamps and paper and embellishments and things. So check out the YouTube channel to learn more about that card. But like I said, it is using that sentiment, the life's too short to say no to cake from the amazing life stamp set that we've been featuring all week long as our product of the week. And I hope you guys are enjoying those. I've had a lot of fun um, kind of just focusing on one product or kind of suite of products each week. Um, I think that's been really good for me to kind of really pay attention to each of those things um, rather than kind of getting scattered all over the place. So anyway, like I said, I hope you've been enjoying those. And if you ever have a project, for example, this Amazing Life stamp set, if you've made any projects with this stamp set, I would love for you to share them on our Facebook group. And each week, if you've ever made a project using um, any of the products in our product of the week. I'd love to see what you guys are up to also. So feel free. I love to see what everybody's up to on there. Okay. So today though, let me show you the card that we are going to be making. And yeah, I did this again, actually. All right, let me, I got to scoot things over a little bit here. Um, this is another one. I, I think that's kind of been my thing lately is to look for um, cards that I've made previously and kind of use the design. So this one is actually from a couple years ago. <laughs> Glad you're able to catch up today. Yes, Sally, I agree. It's awesome when you can watch it live. So this is a card, like I said, this is from a couple of years ago, a celebration product from a couple of years ago, but I loved kind of how that opened. Now mine, it's funny because I went to make this and then I realized, oh, we don't have that huge oval framelit any longer. So I had to modify my current version of this card a little bit, but it's kind of the same idea. What I couldn't do, I didn't like, I mean, I love how that flips open, but because this oval is quite a bit smaller than that one, I just cut off. So instead of 
flipping this kind of back and forth. We're just gonna kind of open this like this. But I still love the idea so that you could kind of decorate the inside of the card and be able to see it even when you have it closed too. So, but you, um, I would say, hi Liz, how are you? You're probably gonna be seeing some kind of a project using this, I love that fold also. Um, sometime soon so I'll keep you posted on that one but I like I said I've been loving using previous card projects kind of updating them with new product and some new designs too okay all right so let me get my pieces out oh the other thing I have to show you guys actually before so with this amazing life stamp set um, I'm trying to remember if we actually got this we might have gotten this might have been the stamp set that everybody got at, at our on stage. But can you guys see this is the super cute? I might have I posted a picture. So there was another demonstrator that basically took this card and put it, it was on a whisper white, but that would even be cute just like that, right? She just took this little card and put it right on a big card to make like a full card. Um, but I love these little, like the little, the tall little note cards, narrow, I think they're called narrow note cards and envelopes, right? Because then that will slip right inside there. But I love kind of the random happy birthday that we stamped. Um, and then I love the cute little cake and that's some of the old olive linen thread that we have now too. And then with some, I put some little, I can't remember if those were on there or not, but I think those are some of the, mm, it's funny because they look like they're gold, but I think they're the yellow from, I think that's the share what you love pack of pearls, right? And some teeny tiny, can you see the little stamping on there too? So that card basically features a bunch of stamps. So that little birthday cake, and then the little sprinkles right there, that teeny tiny one, and kind of, I think I used so saffron and maybe um, like a powder pink there too. So cute little card. I am I love those little cards too. I think I was saying that before, right? Because sometimes you don't need a big card, you just need a little card. If you're just giving a little something maybe okay so let me show you guys how we make this card and I think Sally you're saying that's a, a Z fold that makes sense this other one is a Z right that looks like a Z doesn't it yep Z fold card yes they're very fun to make so okay but let me show you what we've got going today all right I gotta scoop these guys out of the way okay I'm gonna get our stamps and our ink Oh, I do have the big shot. I started to think, where's the big shot? But I do have it here. Okay, that's good. So let me show you the dimensions for this card because it's almost a full kind of regular piece, but not quite. Okay, so if you can imagine, here is our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Okay, so we actually cut on the eight and a half side, we cut it down at seven inches, okay? So I just kind of cut that whole end of the cardstock, the one and a half inches off the end of the piece of cardstock, right? Then I cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half, okay? And then, as I always do, I scored it at four and a quarter inches. So it's just got a three inch front and then four and a quarter on the back, okay? So that's very simple, right? And then we have a piece of, this is Whisper White cardstock that measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches. And that is what's gonna go on the inside of our card. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this is part of that um, All My Love Suite. I think this was last week's product of the week. So can you see, this is um, kind of a little example of the paper that's in there. So really pretty kind of floral and it could be maybe for valentine's day but it certainly does not have to be and then i would say same thing this is kind of a red and white kind of a diagonal polka dot so again this could be for valentine's day but it doesn't have to be i think they did a good job of that this year of making that versatile enough that you know if you need valentine's day product you've got it but if you want to use it for another um time of year or occasion you can do that okay so we're just gonna pop that I folded that right there right so we're just gonna pop that right on the front yeah when I did it and I cut it in half and flipped it back it was like we couldn't see enough of the designer series paper and then the oval wasn't big enough it just didn't quite work as well so I couldn't do a full Z fold on this one but I really like how it turned out so um 
Let's do our stamping. This is our piece of Whisper White cardstock that goes on the inside of our card. So with this, and this is a little flower stamp that is from that Amazing Life stamp set. So I'm gonna stamp one there and one there. And that's all we're gonna do on that. Let's see, yeah, I was, I was like, I'm pretty sure this stamp is from that stamp set. Yep, you can see it's right, it's that little flower right there. Oh, thank you, Sandra, I'm glad you like this card. I like it too. I think it's, well, and I started a lot of times, you know, I'll start with this designer series paper. I knew I really wanted to use that stamp set too. And I thought this would be a good card if you needed a Valentine's Day card, it could be, but it also doesn't have to be. I think it's just kind of a nice, you know, you can send it to friends, um, loved ones, you know, lots of different options. So I already stamped this so happy to have you in my life um, with the black memento ink. You can see I've got my, my stamp here. The so happy to have you in my life. Uh, again, with my black memento ink, I did use this stamp and pierce mat too. I think with those big images, you know, go ahead and put your paper right on there, ink it up and then stamp on that cushion because it helps, especially with those photopolymer stamps, right? So I knew, I've been trying to be better about this, that you guys weren't going to want to watch me color all of that in. So I did some of it already. All right, I got to grab my glasses. So I'm going to finish coloring in. So the happy I colored in with, this is a light cherry cobbler marker. Now we may have lovely lipstick. If I didn't say that already, this is lovely lipstick cardstock. I can't remember if I said that. We may have a lovely lipstick um, stamp and blends marker. I do not have it yet, but I thought that this light cherry cobbler, I tried a few of them. I tried the poppy parade, but that one was, um, didn't quite work. I didn't think it went as well. So we are just going to color in just like this on the inside. So I'm using the skinny tip and just kind of nice and easy filling that in. Kind of draw back through there and that's it. That's all I did with the rest of it. So that's very simple. And then with my crumb cake, this is the light one also. Yep, my light crumb cake marker. And I'm gonna use the little bit fatter tip here. Hopefully, I can't get as close as I want to be with the camera right in the way, but we're gonna just color this in with our crumb cake. So I like this. I mean, it's easy, easy coloring. I have to go back over it. I want it a little bit darker there. Kind of blend that in a little bit. Yeah, but so it's a great stamp to be able to do coloring. So you can pick any colors. Uh, you know, I suggest grabbing whatever colors are in the designer series paper. So we've got some crumb cake and some lovely lipstick slash um, <laughs> light cherry cobbler marker there, right? So now we are going to go ahead and die cut this with our um, oval framelits. Okay, so let me grab the big shot and the oval framelits. So we used, this is the largest, so from the oval framelits, this is the very largest straight edge oval is what's going to fit around that one. Okay, so we've got our big shot. Okay. Let me scoot that guy just so I don't make a mess on him anyhow. Oh, Nikki! Oh, I'm glad you can join us. You're catching the end. Yay, I'm glad you're here. Um, okay, so we're going to just put our paper down on the Big Shot with our magnetic platform, the clear cutting pad underneath, and then the other one on top of the paper with the framelit on it. Crank in the handle. And super simple here, right? All right. And I just pop that guy right out. So that is all set, right? Okay, so move the big shot out of the way. And what else do we need to do? Basically, we just need to add some adhesive and a little bit of bling on this one too. Okay, so we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of this Whisper White piece and this one's gonna go inside, okay? That one, oops, you know, you probably can't even see it. I should just never worry so much. <laughs> it's far enough away, right? Um, okay, and then we're gonna add some adhesive. You just wanna be careful 
Um, and I did, I didn't totally center that. I did a pretty good job, but you wanna make sure not to get adhesive behind this side of things. So maybe I kind of flip it over. And actually, this is good that it's bled through a little bit, because I think that helps us not get adhesive in places we don't want it. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna pop that. Yep, that looks good. Actually, maybe I did center it because that looks pretty well centered, right? Okay, and then the last step, these are my faceted dots. And I think, hmm, I can't remember what color those are actually. I'm gonna call it mint green because I'm drawing like a total blank right now. It's certainly not mint green, but that is what we are going to use. Um, which size did I use? I'm gonna use these little baby ones. So I put a couple of these guys, oops, he's futzing around, just in the inside of that little flower there. <laughs> Thank you, Marianne, I'm glad you like this card. And then we're gonna do one more in the inside of that little flower. So that's what's kind of fun, is being able to decorate the inside and you can actually see it. And then with a little bit bigger, it's, I feel like it's gonna come to me as soon as we stop our Facebook Live, what the name of this color is. Cause it's not, so soft seafoam is the color on here. Macaron, yes, it's mint macaron. That's the name, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's it. Cause it's not soft seafoam. It would be even better if it was, cause that's the color that's on those flowers. But I thought it went well, well enough. Yeah, I, I think it's mint macaron. Thank you ladies. You guys are always so good to me. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so, and I just keep, so if I have a couple packs of these things, they kind of get all over the place. So I just keep them in a little sleeve here, and then I've got my, as many packs as I have usually can fit in a little sleeve. Those are usually like leftover from, you know, when you open up your framelit packages, and then that little covering, the plastic cover that was on here, I just keep those, because they're kind of handy to put other things in. So that is it i kept it pretty simple because i thought there was enough going on with the sentiment and the coloring and the designer series paper just add a little bit of bling with those mint macaron faceted dots and you are all set so very cute i'm glad you guys like those so yeah i think that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed everything um we'll do my quick Let's see, where's my other card, right? Okay, so especially in case you're new to Facebook Live, I wanna make sure everybody knows that when you use the host code, the C-J-F-G-U-V-A-T that can always be found, man, that glare is bad, right? On my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, right? When you use that host code you and spend at least $30, you're gonna get the projects that I demonstrated today and your name goes in the drawing to win this classic, excuse me, the classic garage designer series paper. So yeah, I think that's it. So thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a great weekend. Um, hopefully you have some time to play and stamp and have some fun. And, and like I said, I would love if you are making projects this weekend, upload them, put them on our Facebook group. We would love to see what you guys are up to as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you were inspired today and we'll see you guys next Friday. Bye everybody.